Hey YouTube, Toy Nob Reviews here with another video review and today we're going to be taking a look at Transformers Prime Robots in Disguise Voyager Class Ultra Magnus. Now this figure is amazing, it's really good, it's got its strong points and it's got some weak points as well uh, which I'll get to in robot form. Um, but I've got to say I do prefer the Beast Hunters Voyager Ultra Magnus over this but I'm going to be reviewing this first before I get that. And then I'll do a comparison when I do that review, when I actually get the figure. So here it is itself, there's a 360 of it. It's got some really nice paint apps to it. It's got like this darkish slash light blue, along with this nice red colour and then some whites. Uh, like this white Autobot logo there. That's pretty nice right there. And then it's got a red stripe coming down. And then it's got these clear blue windows, uh, which is pretty nice. Uh, the red missile as well, which is there, and again, the other Autobot symbol there, but the red stripe going across, so, a really nice figure, uh, his weapons could be stored like this, or the missiles could go on the ports here, as you can see, or of course, on the other side, there is also one in here, located there, and of course on the other side, or on the top, as well, where I have it stored. Uh, the hammer, or I guess machine gun light gun, could be stored like this, or it could be stored the other way. The only problem though with this, it doesn't really tab in, it just, it literally sits there. You know, it's not exactly secure, so it's pretty loose. Um, but I mainly store it like this, this way, this hammer thing here um, secures it a bit because it's laying on top of the the cab thing. So here's a comparison of Ultra Magnus with Robots in Disguise Deluxe Rumble. As you can see, obviously Ultra Magnus is going to be bigger because it's a Voyager class. Mm, there it is at the back. Uh, not many paint apps at the back. Or anything, or on the bat legs around here. Um, but we'll get more to that in robot mode, which is now, so I'll be back in a minute. Here's Ultra Magnus, and here's the transformation. Uh, first of all, you want to untab the weapons. Here's a close up of the missile. It's pretty nice. Not much paint apps, it's just red and grey plastic. There's another part on top of it, so you can add more weapons to it. So here's the transformation. So first of all, you want to untab here, like so, and then get your fingers in there and flip that up, like so, and then just pull the whole cap thing upwards. These arms, just want to untab, like so, and that will untab the arms. The legs, just want to straighten out, untab, fold out the feet. And then you just want to untap this. And you want to rotate it around and then wrap it around. Like so. And then it taps in. Oh yeah, you've got you've to fold these in things. These useless ports, I would say. Fold them in. Fold up the foot. And tab. Rotate. And then wrap it around. Simple as. So the legs are pretty cool. I do like that transformation. Them standing. The arms, just want to well, untap this and then bring it down. And then you can fold the arms into place. See what I mean? Because if this is folded up, you can't fold the arms all the way back, so you have to bring it down. So you can fold all the, so you can fold the arms all the way back, lift up its head. I wish the head is pretty nice. His arms, you want to rotate the shoulder pads up. And then you just want to fold up the hand and then wrap it around. So to this side, bring up the hand and then wrap it around. And there is Ultra Magnus in robot form. Pretty cool. Rotates you up so you can see him. And you can have him holding his weapons 
or you can plug them in on the sides of the arm there or on top of the short, shorter pad there there's loads of ports around this guy he's got loads of posability and of course the hammer goes flying actually I'll show you that so here it is it's a machine gun like mech tech weapon and for the first time this is the first mech tech weapon that actually can tap to place and lock in position so I'm gonna like so it becomes a hammer the LED on this did die so there's usually there's like a green light that shows up but it's not that bright anyway now here's a tab I just wanna flip it up and then this tab thing there goes into that port there come on there we go and that locks into place the hammer's not the greatest but it's better than nothing and for once the mech tab weapon actually locks into place uh, which is pretty cool so you get with Tremagnus in some pretty cool positions like so and he just falls over uh, like I said the paint scheme on this is pretty cool here's a close up uh, the one thing I really don't like about this is the way the arms are here because uh, like it just I just don't like the way it is where you, uh, if you want to move it across like this then the chest thing uh, the upper chest near his face also goes in it just doesn't look right and also when you have it cleared down then it leaves a pretty big gap so it's the only thing I don't like about the so gear it's probably just a nitpick apart from that it's really good I really like the way the chest is and the faces as well it's pretty cool um, so there's some size comparisons with Watch Magnus. We're going to remove his hammer. Oh yeah, you can store the hammer on his back as there is a port there. Which I think is pretty cool. So you can have the hammer stored on his back like so. So you don't want him holding it. Now for a size comparison. We're going to be doing Deluxe Class Smoke Screen. And my previous review, Voyager Class, Beast Hunters Ultra Magnus. Um, not Ultra Magnus, sorry. Um, Optimus. So there he is. All three of them. Together. As you can see, he's a little bit shorter than Optimus Prime. But of course, he is bigger than the standard deluxe. And he's actually an average Voyager. To be honest, Optimus is just pretty big. Um, so yeah, that's my Voyage Class Ultra Magnus Robots in Disguise review. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I will be getting the Beast Hunters Ultra Magnus and be doing a comparison when I get that. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, comment and rate in a bit.